Francis Ngannou versus Anthony Joshua. Two behemoths colliding in the city of Riyadh, kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Focus. Oh, AJ touched him. Just a life, you don't make any excuse. I mean, that's what we sign up for when you come to a sport like this. You always know that there is something that, um, stuff like that, that could have happened. And uh, I knew that, again, my only, my, the bitter taste that I have is that I wasn't able to express myself. And I feel like the guys that was falling wasn't like me falling, like, it was a little weird. I think this is a knockout, this is a weird uh, loss, something that I would have, I uh, wouldn't like to experience, but um, I think he will stay as a defeat only if I don't learn from it and come back from it. Failure is not about how many times you fall, but it's just about um, not trying to come back and uh, I'm not falling, you know. Uh, I didn't fail, I'm just, I just stumble and I will go back. I will overcome this situation and uh, make it, uh, make the best out of it. Personally, yes, I know I could have uh, shown more and basically like my disappointment is not about the loss, you know, I could have like have a good fight. My disappointment is just like not to be able to show my improvement and what I have been working uh, on in the past uh, four months since the Fury fight. But again, it is what it is. Um, you can make all the excuses that you want. This is what we signed up for. It happens sometime. But uh, yeah, I'll learn from it, definitely. I'll learn from it. One good thing about it is like, I'm not blaming myself from, for anything. I felt like I did everything that I should have done. We had the best training camp, assembled the best team uh, around the world uh, to assist me into this fight. And uh, I did everything right. I mean, I would definitely keep improving, but there is not a blame on like, uh, nobody or something that uh, went wrong. It's very important to take this as a uh, learning process, as a lesson uh, for life. I have been here before in my life so many times and even worse. This time around, I'm very confident because like, um, again, I, I prepare very well. I did everything that I should have done. As far as the fight itself, you know, like, it's very confusing. Like, uh, from the moment that I um, I stepped in the fight, like, even before, things was already, like, blurry. I didn't have my distance. I wasn't very clear about stuff. Until I get hit the first time. And even the first time, I was quite surprised, like, them, I can be uh, falling from this punch. It, I mean, the punch was hard, but I don't think like it was the punch that the punch that uh, usually would take me down. Then, as uh, they recommend me to take some second until the end, I wait until like maybe eight and stand up, finish the round, go to my corner, and then uh, was listening to the instruction Dewey and uh, John was talking, and then. I was keep going, like, I came back from the second round, that didn't help, and I think uh, Joshua saw that. What next for me? Maybe a third boxing match, but I think now, I feel like boxing owes me something now. 
and uh, I have to regain uh, what boxing take out of, take from me. I think uh, my ego will not let me step back and let this go like this, you know, without doing everything to restore my, um, to restore and prove the world that I'm the man of the job. I can do it, you know. I slipped, but uh, I didn't fall. I stumbled, I didn't fall. You know, I think if I uh, go back, treat, um, learn from it, uh, use it as an advantage, as an experience for my personal growth, for my professional growth, I think it will not be a loss. I could, I would be able to reverse it and make it a victory, a life victory, not only a, a sport victory. And also, I really want to uh, say a huge thank you to, to all my fans out there, those who supported me, those who uh, wish me well after the fight night, those who worried about me, those who care, and those who still believe in me that I will overcome this situation. Get prepared, work on myself, and come back. Come back again, and uh, this time, I think I'm coming back for another big round.